We're a team Breath Alert and our goal is basically to design an apnea monitor for premature infants in the developing world. A lot of premature infants have apnea, so they'll just stop breathing after a certain period of time. And because this is in the developing world, a lot of nurses can't check on the infants. They don't know if the infant's been breathing until either it's too late or when they come over, they just kind of gently shake them awake. But one nurse might have 40 patients that they're in charge of at a time. And so a lot of times patients fall through the cracks. And so our goal is to make a monitor that can alert the nurse when there is a problem. Um, we wanted something easy for nurses to use. We wanted something without many false alarms. And we wanted it to be durable enough to last in these low resource settings without needing parts constantly replaced. So this is our Babalung apnea monitor. Um, right here is the little black box that stays next to the baby and here's the strap and I'll demonstrate it on Bridget. So her arm is about the size of a premature infant. So strap it on and then undo the clip and we'll turn it on. So what's happening in this strap right here is that there's a stretch sensor being stretched like this and each stretch corresponds to one breath so this light blinks as she's her arm is basically breathing so when she stops breathing for 20 seconds then the motor starts vibrating and then pulses to get her attention and to get her to start breathing again if after five more seconds they haven't started breathing again then we alert the nurse with a flashing light that they can hang on an IV pole or attach to a wall. Or, so the nurse will run over, know that the baby's in danger, can use CPAP, can just shake the baby gently, whatever's necessary. We're working with the Rice's Beyond Traditional Borders Initiative, which develops different technologies suitable for the developing world. So what we're hoping for in the next few years is to have a set of technologies that are sort of the neonatal ward of the future. Um, a set of low-cost technologies that do everything that a ward here in the U.S. can do. Well, it's really neat when your major is saving babies, uh, and that's essentially what we're, what we're doing. And obviously this is a tool for the doctors, so um, this is a, a short-term fix for a problem that there's not really a lot of alternatives out there. So I think we're making a lot of great headway in being able to possibly help these infants. And, and it definitely makes your work worthwhile when you even those, those long nights that you have to deal with and, and all the road documentation, it's definitely worth it when you know this is actually going to be field tested and, and hopefully help someone.